Yo, what's going on guys? It's him from Infra Gaming, and today we're playing Tokyo Ghoul Dark Wars, if I'm correct, if remembering. Um, basically, this game's been out for a while, I've been registered, been playing it for a while. Phone just came, new phone just came, so I'm basically starting the mobile games again. This is a free to game, you can pay to get some items, so go to privileges. And my dogs are moving around again. As you can see, you can get VIP ranking, free charge, and that. But you don't have to. And then with doing so with this game, you can get top up cards, so you can get like certain people and that, but you've got to top up certain amount. As you can see. And if I'm correct, like, as you can see, it, since it's all in English, it's easier for me to understand, but it is. Like, it does do more fair deals than most other games I've seen. In this game, you have a few quests. You have a few things. You can get free draws. And within the free draws, you can get heroes from Tokyo Ghoul. Such, well, characters from Tokyo Ghoul, such as Amru, Eto, Armin, Eto, Sorry, okay. uh, Imari. Uh, yeah, what's up? Well, I don't want to be rude, but... What are you? As you can see, as you could hear, they do use lines from the actual anime. Ritz. <gasps> Tasty. Riz. Or Ritz. I don't know how to say that one. Armoru. Some don't have lines. Toka. Kenichi. Remember, you're the one who tried to eat me first. That's the part where he's actually So you'll get, get what's coming to you. Wow. That's the part when where I he... eat you instead. That's the part where he's getting tortured by one of the. I'll actually see if I can get him. I should have him. Pretty sure. Where is he? I thought I had him. Is he an SSR only? Yeah, he's only an SSR. So the SSR characters. Look like this. They have two D things. The difference between SSR and normal rare, normal rare, super rare, and super super rare. It really got so cool characters as you see. A lot of them are from the first C from the first Tokyo Ghoul. There is a few from the new Tokyo Ghoul two, and then you got Tokyo Ghoul three, which is uh, well the season three, which is Tokyo Ghoul Ari in the manga. I actually am still reading the manga personally and I love it. So you've got organizations so you can join a group, do trials along with the group, get rewards, damage boards, progress. You've got the arena, which you can improve. You can get characters from the arena, items, in quests, doing the arena um, stuff. There's also, in the organization, you've got a shop as well. So you can get token rabbit form, uh, and then you have the main story mode, which is basically you start from Act One. You can also go into hard version, and you can all get character shards. Ooh, I've got twenty nine token. So if I go into event and feeding ground, feeding ground, these are all like later on things, so it's quite worth it. Being ground, basically, you get you get a chance to get gems, and also items to improve your characters again. Just give me two seconds, guys. So, also within the being grounds, you got the RC RC cells. RC cells basically is where you can you synthesize an RC and get a new white, yeah, new one. The you have the higher rate, higher rates. Truth basically you can get get a oh, didn't actually think about that. Truth you can get the basically no one will attack you. Yeah? RC cells you can the RC cells you can get by going against the opponents. If you're high enough to defeat them, as you can see there guys, I've just got one of the components I need to go against this person instantly. That's kind of worrying. And yet again, so this is a higher tier one, so it's medium range, so it's quite powerful. And if I go, as you can see here, there's high chance, so I'll have to fight them. 
and because I know they're ridiculously too high for me. So I'll go for the weaker ones. Sad to say, but it's how the game actually makes you play. As you can see, you only have a set limit amount of times you can sweep. So I can't do any more. I can't fight any more, so that's the feeding grounds. You have the training camp, which is basically... There we go. Center. Complete the training center quest to receive rewards. Rewards are such as these. You can get different crates. Gives you different type um, level equipment. So that's quite good. You have the Mysterious Shop, which you can buy rank 2 XP potions. You can buy character shards at times. I thought I had Yami. And just to quickly show what that's like, going through, I should have. There he is. So, what I've just got is enough shards to upgrade Yamori. Yamori, which is also not called, I think he's called Jack. Jack is it Jack the Ripper? No. I can't remember what his school name, his go name is from the dove. Hmm. But you can upgrade him. He gains quick, he gains stat boost. And he's quite, and he'll be more powerful. Oh, I can upgrade Nishia. He's now rank. He's now uh, green rank 2. Which is quite cool. As you can see, some are green, some are um, blue. They start off with gray. they start off grey. They go green, blue, and I think purple is the last stage. But you can basically keep upgrading them, getting them stronger. You get rewards for staying online. And Because I'm not sure you have enough time. Can I leave? Chita? As you heard with Juzo there, they do like have their own little talk. I don't appreciate being insulted by a punk kid with a smart mouth. Watch it, you're starting to piss me off. So yeah, they do basically have a little conversation and all that, so that's quite cool. Didn't know Ju I didn't know Kanichi's um, alternative version has such a long one. So, Gold Quest. This is one of the things you generally do daily. You have two chance. You have two times to get it. It's every bit three minutes, and this is what gold quest is like. Um, as you can see at the moment, like right, my team consists of Rabbit Toka, Armuru, the One-Eyed Owl's daughter, and um, which is Eto. It also consists of basically people who, my strongest. Etso is always going to be on my team because Etso has a capability that no other group, none of the other classes I know it. None of the other monsters I know it at this moment have, which is Etto is able to heal, and with having the ability to heal, it's actually quite game changing in this and will cause a lot more basically a lot more time and counters to get it so as you can see I get a few gold a few items glasses and don't know what that was or if I go to mysterious shop I trade them in and I get more gold as for this guy I can't remember his name. Off by off. I can't remember who he is. For a crouch, I can't think of his name. I know the um, other guy is Big Mom's. Oh, I can't. Is it Big Mom or something like that? But it's like some looming ridiculous mama. And he's now at the moment the new enemy in Tokyo Ghoul Season 3. Which is something else I wanted to bring up about. Tokyo Gold Season 3 has been out for a while, and I 
I'm making a habit of watching it. It normally comes out on a Tuesday for me. Today's Wednesday, releasing this video Wednesday. I'm going to try my best. And uh, in doing so, I actually wanted to also bring up the fact that Tokyo Ghoul is literally it's in this game I feel like it, you get to learn a lot more about certain characters um, it's quite fun so if you want to play the game it, it is free to download I will put the link in the description like it used to with games and that for app phone, phone apps but what I'm going to try and do from throughout the actual week is if I've got the time record a video upload it not going to be part of like oh and um, previous videos and that it's just going to be random videos for mobile so it won't have a link to like a dawn of war winter assault or stargy valley stuff like that that's actually that cool i didn't realize that actually carried on through so we've been him i gain xp potion xp potions is what you saw me use before if i go back into heroes go to Nishi Nishiki Nishio I don't appreciate being insulted by a punk kid with a smart mouth watch it you're starting to piss me off so he's in the anime in the anime he's one of those hot-headed guys that will do anything he wants and thinks he can get away with it this is actually a character that I was actually devastated again because last time you saw her she died there's no point to say so with the gold it's not just oh you can get free 10 gold you get a chance again a character so i've just got akia modos 10 shards of hair which is quite decent in terms of speaking if i go in here now i'm sure i made it blue there she is She's actually only 20 shards away from maxing out now. So the last thing in the event is this. You get, so um, basically, yeah, evolution potions, but they look like syringes, personally. So in terms of speaking, they're quite good for your characters. And it's quite lucky that you get a chance to get a free, few of them free. So for this, it's just basically, you're doing I, it feels like it's wave after wave for the USB potions but basically unlock the events at bare minimum you need to get to level 20 I'm pretty sure it is and the first event you unlock is gold and again the gold event you can upgrade your character skills you just saw me do with um Many. As you can see here, the boss is Topa, so Topa is basically, the basically, at the end you got to beat the boss, which is Toka, so you got to fight Toka, beat her, and you get these potions. During these quests, you only get a small amount of XP, 20 XP, stuff like that. So it's quite good for higher level people who just want to level their characters up. And get them maxed up. So what I was going to show is something to do with the story. Clear the event, clear the stage, no no depths, time limit. So with this, you have to clear three air three parts to basically move on. So I've just got to make sure no one dies. Please within 80 seconds. And just clear the stage in general. So as you can see. I'm having level 51s and getting through quite quickly. The boss should appear, but there's actually something I find about how they show the boss off in this. So, in most games, they tend to, like this, they'll tend to go, oh, the boss is this person, and that's it. But in this Tokyo Ghoul Dark Wars, how far? How long until the boss? Oh, not on this one. But basically, in Tokyo Ghoul Dark, if you have a boss, 
It comes up with their health, their attack, their defense, stuff like that. Ah, oh, these wins. They were so much fun in, man in the anime and manga. So as you can see, gain stars. With scan stars, you can unlock certain characters. Again, these characters actually are quite useful because down the line, you can get a lot more stuff. Hard mode is more... It's kind of the same, but it's more like... Hmm. Not problem level. Okay. So, basically, yeah, guys. If you've enjoyed the game, give it a check out. It's quite... It's free. It's on iPhone. It's on Android. Well, it's on Apple. It's on Android. And it's really cool to get. As I said, the link will be in the description for both. And I'm hoping you guys give it a chance. Give it a go. And have fun. But until then, guys. See ya. Bye.